What's shaking, BookTube? Or I guess today I should probably call you gentle friends. What's shaking, gentle friends? If you don't already know, in which case you must be living under a very heavy rock, one of BookTube's very own and someone I would like to think I'm friends with, Pierre Ford, has recently adapted the world famous book series Nevernight into a web series. It's not out just yet, but they did release a trailer a couple of days ago, and this thing's pretty legit. I'm gonna be real with you right now, the trailer is hella juicy. For real though, it's pretty legit because Piera's team were awarded the uh, Screen Australia and Google grant, which is a pretty big deal, but I'm not gonna go into that because that's something Piera's talked about at length on her channel, and obviously she knows a lot more about what happened there than I do. But like I said, they released a trailer for the fantasy web series based on the novel series, Nevernight, and it looks pretty good. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a look at the trailer and basically kind of break it down scene by scene and see from a fan's perspective what it is that we've actually seen in the trailer close up. It's super unlikely that uh, Piera needs me to even shout her out, especially now, but if you want to watch the full uninterrupted trailer as well as like just a shit ton of behind the scenes vlogs, that kind of thing, you're going to have to go over to her channel and I'll make sure I leave a link in the description for that. The trailer is not very long at all, it's only about 50 seconds, but there's quite a lot happening in there. Like I said, I'm just going to be analysing it as just a fan of the series. But with that said, I can't really say I would just be an objective third party because guess what? I'm in it. Not in the trailer, but I was an extra for the Nevernight uh, web series. That's right, mom. I'm an actor now. Who's the joke now, mom? I'll talk a little bit about that later in the video. By the way, if I get anything wrong in this trailer, feel free to point it out in the comments below, that's okay. I only just finished the series, so I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about, but there's a hell of a lot more Mia Kulferi stands out there than me, so go ahead, correct me if you like, but you know, don't be a... A winner? It's the shadow road for you and me. Won't be a rumor or whisper. Right, so the very first thing you notice in the trailer is the voiceover, and I'm gonna guess I feel like it's a pretty good guess that that's Mercurio. Mercurio being Mio Coveri, the protagonist's uh, mentor and father figure. And that makes a lot of sense actually because Mercurio at a lot of points in the actual book series is like the narrator for the story that's happening there. So that translates pretty well and I believe at this point in the trailer he's pulling a direct quote from the from the very first book, Nevernight, a quote that kind of ends up being Mio Kaveri's uh, credo, although I'll get to that when, when he finishes the quote. So the first shot there, I'm going to guess, is the Ashkar Whisper Waste, which is like one of the primary and interestingly enough, uh, one of the most interesting settings for the series. And I remember the Whisper Waste being one of the very first uh, looks we had at the web series when Piera started updating us and letting us know what was happening. I specifically remember her saying how much of a bitch it was to film there because, you know, it's it's hot. It was by the beach, but it was still really hot. And they're out there, you know, battling and stuff in the sand. Because it's next to a beach, it's windy and you're getting sand blown in your eyes. It's that's a bitch even on a like good day when you're in your in your dunkaroos. So I can't imagine doing that in full fantasy gear. And in that first shot, I imagine it's Trick and Mia that we're seeing walking through the desert, although I guess it could be Nave as well. It's interesting that at a first glance you can only like see one sun but then you'll notice obviously that there's two light sources so you've got the two suns there. I'm gonna guess the third sun is out of frame because as we know in the world of Nevernight there's three suns. It uh, looks like directly after that we have a mysterious shot of Mia and Mercurio in an alleyway in one of God's Graves alleyways. I can only imagine how many cigarettes Piera must have had to smoke for this. It's prominent in the story of course it's like a Constantine-esque like chain smoking thing going on and it's like and every photo we have of Piera as Mia, she's smoking. Just makes me wonder if like after the shoot was finished, if she had to go on a fucking nicotine patch or something. You never know guys, maybe Mia will come out post edits with a bit of an Aussie smoker voice. I'm the war you can't win. Cut. Oh hey, by the way guys, just really, really quickly, what do you think of the shirt? This is the book hangover shirt. I think it might be my favorite design we have over at pagenomad.com. If you're a reader or writer or both and you're after some bookish clothing that doesn't look like complete poo-poo, go and check it out. That's pagenomad.com. The thought that wakes the bastards of this world sweating in the never night. Right, so I just want to pause just there real quick. Just want to point out, you probably noticed uh, how good the video quality is here. You probably noticed it looks pretty fantastically separated from being just like a fan film because it's it's pretty high quality. And I could say I saw that firsthand. I think they were filming with a red, which is some pretty serious gear. I just think that's something we're going to really appreciate once the episodes are released. Mm. 
So then we have a nice little time lapse over, I'm gonna presume it's the red church. Very clearly see two suns in the sky. They're in there! And then we have a shot of Mia getting a on in a bit of an alleyway, in a God's Grave alleyway. And this, this is the most important part of the trailer. And you know why? Because this is a bit that I'm in, baby. Woo! Well, I'm not in the trailer, but I'm probably not in it by like a microsecond. So I'll tell you the deal. I'm not gonna tell you what's actually specifically happening in that scene because I don't know if that's something Pierre doesn't want like exposed just yet. But Pierre put out a bit of a casting call, I guess, on Twitter just for people in the Brisbane area. And I happen to live in the same city as Pierre saying she needed some extras for a God's Grave marketplace. And I was like, yeah, cool. I got some spare time. I already feel like a peasant. I'll blend right in. Then bada bing, bada boom. There I am. I'm at the, it was filmed at like this old military kind of fort from way, way back in the day, like Oceanside. And it's an old, like abandoned military base. It's now like a historical ground, but it looks like a castle. It's just an absolutely beautiful area there. So I go there and Pierre and her team are all set up there and they're all super nice, by the way. And there's me and like, I don't know, like 20, 30 other people. So they get us all decked out in like the God's Grave, like commoner clothing. I'm, I'm the very last one to get dressed up. So I didn't really have the coolest pick. Like, I get it. I'm a peasant. Some people had, like, cool belts and, like, cool fantasy-looking stuff. Some people were, like, pirates, which would have been dope. And then, and then there's me that is, like, the most peasant peasant there. I'm just wearing, like, a dirty old poncho. And I've just got all this, like, dirt makeup just smeared all over my face. Don't get me wrong. I looked the part, but I also looked like I just escape Shawshank through a shit pipe, so. <laughs> no, it was really fun. It was a really, really good day. I really enjoyed it, and it was just fantastic um, meeting Pierre in person. She's just such an incredible woman. I remember I was, like, off uh, sitting to the side, just chilling on my friend while we were waiting, you know, to play our part, and I look across, and there's just Pierre, like, on her own in, in like, a little bit of grass with her dagger, just doing, like, all this ninja shit. <laughs> Looked badass as hell, by the way. It was just really, really cool experience. Um, but anyway, what I actually had to do as an extra. So, in that bit where they're kissing in the alleyway, literally, like, within a second of that, I believe you would see me walk past in the background. That was... That was my job. I just... I walked past. I tried to put, like, a bit of a drunk swagger on it. I hope that makes it in. I hope I make it in there. E even if I do, I imagine I'm just gonna be a blur in the background. Which is cool. But, um... But yeah, no. I, I did the drunk walk through plenty of times, which is just like an average Wednesday for me anyway. That's a normal Wednesday, me drunkenly staggering through a marketplace with shit all over my face. <laughs> that was good. I sure as shit got my exercise. Needless to say, at the end of the day, my legs were ripped, bro. If I do make it into the final cut, you better believe that'll be my proudest moment, and you better believe I'll be making that my Twitter cover photo and sending it to Hollywood. So then we have a few cool shots, a really good close-up of uh, Mercurio. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Mercurio. I'll look really dumb if it's not. But from what it looks like to me, I think that might be the very first meeting of Mia and Mercurio. That's just a guess. But yeah, we have our first close-up of Mercurio. Um, for some reason, I imagined him being like a fair bit older and maybe a bit more decrepit. Uh, this gentleman looks pretty damn healthy. But then I guess that makes sense. He's still meant to be a reasonably fit assassin or ex-assassin. All right, pause. Okay, 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 guys. This is our first and I believe only look at Mr. Kindly in the trailer, which I'll admit I'm a little disappointed by, only because I'm so goddamn keen to see what the finished uh, product looks like, the special effects. I remember watching the test footage they did uh, just ages and ages and ages ago. It was like, towards the start of the year. And honestly, I thought Mr. Kindly looked pretty good in that as it was. But then we fast forward to now and they've raised just, they did a Kickstarter where they raised just a ton of money for the special effects and a few other things to make it look a bit better, you know, in post. So you just know Mr. Kindly's gonna look dope as hell and I'm just really excited to see that. That's one of the things I'm most excited for. And let's take a moment to just appreciate how banging Piera looks here because I think the outfit's spot on. She just looks, she looks fantastic. She is 100% on that. Respect the drip, Ashley. Shit. You know what I mean? Then we have a shot of presumably Mia's first victim, the drunk from the beginning of book one. <laughs> then... Bam! We have our first look at Trick. Awesome. I love this. This is one of my favorite shots of the whole trailer. Let's be real right now. The casting for Trick is just phenomenal. 
Great job. Whoever was responsible for that, you fucking crushed it. So the actor they cast for Trick was a guy from New Zealand named Geordie Webber. Also known for being the Red Power Ranger and I believe he's a musician as well. But it's just incredible. That's almost exactly what I pictured uh, Trick looking like. It's just, it's just great. Great work. He wrapped shooting before... I was ever on the set, so I didn't get to meet him, unfortunately, but I've watched, like, all of the videos of him and Piera on Piera's channel, like, answering, you know, questions from people about the Nevernight series and stuff, and he seems really damn cool. The last thing that you'll ever be in this world, girl, someone's hero. And there we go, there's our first close-up of Trick. The face tattoos look dope as hell. The makeup on the shoot's just phenomenal. And we also have the end of the quote I mentioned, the quote that kind of becomes... Mia Kaveri's Credo, the last thing you'll be is someone's hero. <laughs> although that's very rarely the truth. She says that a lot to herself in the series, although she's a hero pretty much at every opportunity she gets. But you will be a so we have another clearer shot of the Whisper Wastes, two suns in the sky. Uh, beautifully done, considering that wasn't actually a desert. And then we have the tussle with Knave. That was another thing that was of great interest to me, was watching all the behind the scenes footage of like the fight training and stuff. It looks like they... Took it pretty damn seriously, obviously, this is a massive passion project. But from what we see in the trailer, I think the combat looks pretty dope. I'm interested to see if we see Trick fighting, I really hope so, because it would seem like a bit of a, bit of a wasted opportunity if we don't. Yeah. Right, so the next few shots are really, really quick, it's, it's really easy to like miss it, so you have to kind of pause as you go, but um, from what I see, we see Mia. At a first glance, it looks like she's just like staring at the ceiling, probably pondering, you know, murder or something like that but if you look closely you'll notice there's actually some fingers around her shoulder so what i think this actually might be is she's looking up lovingly at someone maybe it's a, it's a sexy sex scene it looks like someone's holding her down it doesn't look like she's that worried about it so i'm gonna guess it's a love scene then a shot of mercurio looking like he's uh, maybe woken up from a bad dream the next shot I, I really love this one one of the main things that got me really excited for this web series is because i want to see the red church i imagine there's not going to be a whole lot of it in the web series i might be wrong but i'm just going to guess because i know what an enormous budget it would take to like have the red church you know the gothic like cult like evil hogwarts basically is what it is so i don't expect we're gonna see a lot of that i really don't expect to see like the blood pools or anything like that so the next frame is the photo for the trailer and it looks fantastic i can see why it would have been used as the trailer photo so mia staring down a blade i'm gonna guess knave again what i'm interested to know is if this was a practical effect or not i mean obviously it's not a real knife but it doesn't quite look like fake either which would lead me to believe that it's probably the blades probably been edited in after which would be the safer and probably better looking option anyway off on a bit of a random different tangent the one of the craziest stunts i've ever heard of ever was just i think it was mission impossible 2 tom cruise right he's in a tussle and uh, someone brings a knife down to his face much like this except it's literally just super close to his eyeball and i can't remember exactly what they did but it was something just insane like they they had a string the exact length that would stop the knife from going any further or something really, really stupidly dangerous like that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not what they did for, <laughs> did for Nevernight. We have a bit of a better look at Knave, still covered up, but that's okay. So Knave's meant to be disfigured. She was uh, disfigured in a fit of jealous rage by the Flesh Weaver. Much like the story of Medusa and Athena, now I think of it. This one here might be my favorite frame of the whole trailer just because I saw it uploaded on uh, Piera's Instagram quite a while ago. You know, Mia in the red church with blood on her face. That just, that to me is the most Nevernight frame of the whole trailer. That's, that is Nevernight looking at that. It's almost unmistakable. And then we have another good look at Mercurio looking a bit more beaten and weary. Yeah. Then, bam, we have the most special, special effect in the whole trailer. I want to take that frame by frame, just so we can appreciate how fantastic that looks. It's Mia stepping out of the shadow, although it kind of looks like she was completely invisible. That was something that wasn't entirely, like, 100% clear to me in the series, is when she shrouds herself in shadow, is it kind of like a literal shadow walking around, or is it just invisible? This looks like it would be invisible, which would make a shit ton more sense in the story. That looks fantastic. That quick snap of like just the shadow being pulled away. When you can look at it frame by frame and it still looks good, 
that's when you know it's been done really professionally and really well. And then yeah, we have the title card and release date. I was pleasantly surprised by like the release dates. I thought it would be like, you know, maybe week by week or something like that. That's what people usually do with stuff like this when they know there's high demand. They make you wait to try and build up anticipation, which I kind of hate, but I get it. But it looks like we get them all in a span of four days, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's pretty much the trailer. I feel like looking at it scene by scene gives us at least a good idea of what we can expect from the web series. I don't need to tell you, it looks incredible. I know Piera put like a heart and soul into this. I know she's just probably almost killed herself literally <laughs> putting this together. It has the full support of Jay Kristoff, the author of the Never Night series, which is a pretty like special thing when it comes to a fan's passion project. What I'm trying to say is I've seen very few people as dedicated to creating something as uh, I've seen Piera be dedicated to bringing Nevernight to life. So I wish her and her team all the success in the world. Please do go check out the actual trailer in its entirety if you haven't already. If you already have, maybe go check it out again because why the fuck not? And when it does finally come out, keep an eye out for that God's Grave uh, marketplace bit. Keep an eye out for the, for the handsome dirty peasant. <laughs> It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like trying to spot Bigfoot. I'm just gonna be a, just gonna be a blur in the background. <laughs> I make a lot of videos on books and writing, so if you like what you see, cool, subscribe. And if you don't, I get it. The mustache is for Movember, right? Just, it's a, it's a whole thing. As always, thanks for watching. Catch ya. She's got class and style. Street knowledge by the pound, yeah. Baby, never act wild. Very low key on the profile. Catching feelings is it all Let me show you how it goes Love's the worst, spirit's the best